Oh, God. Yep, we watched fucking Baywatch. Welcome everyone to another Reviews from Hell. This is an offensive review. The reason why this is a fucking re offensive review is because this movie has offended me. Has offended everybody who likes comedy, who just wants to have a decent, genuine laugh. This fucking movie is fucking impossible. And the reason that I'm using so many fucking F words is because this movie makes you use too many fucking F words, just as it does itself. I don't even know where to fucking start. Um, okay, now, let's just, before we get into the movie, it's Baywatch, it's from a stupid series, we all know it's stupid, we don't take it seriously, it's a bunch of slow motion, boob, jiggling, uh, ab, greased up guys, women, whatever, you know, saving people from drowning, it's cheesy. Can they make a movie out of this? Of course you can make a movie out of this. Just like 21 Jump Street, you, they did. They could have made a movie out of this. It could have been something um, funny. Yes. It could have been. If you had the right bloody stuff to work with. You've got The Rock. He's played comedy before. He's a charming guy. He, he looks the role. Fair enough. Zac Efron. Ah, everybody talks about this Neighbours movie. I thought it was absolutely shit. I couldn't stand that. Not that he's a bad actor. I just haven't seen comedy enough from him to, you know, uh, to convince me, let's say. Um, you have this fat guy. I'm going to call him the fat guy. His name is John Bass. But in this movie, he's the fat guy. He's the one that you're supposed to laugh at because he's just fat. He sings in the shower naked just like the rock did in um, national in, uh, intelligence i'm not mistaken in the beginning of the movie when rock was fat um, he gets his dick trapped in a piece of wood spoiler alert by the way just like ben stiller did in in some it was very similar to something uh, about mary when ben stiller got his uh, thing caught in a uh, in his zipper um and just in case you did laugh at a single fucking stupid joke in this movie, they just, you know, it was like, they, let's just repeat it six, seven, eight times in the movie until you just feel sick out of your fucking eyeballs. Every 20 seconds in this movie, I was face palming myself. This is torture. This is ball grinding torture 101. This movie is like was like a virus, and I tell you what, this is actually going to hit my so far. This is going to hit my top ten worst movies of two thousand and seventeen. Things in the there is no plot in this movie. Nothing makes sense. They actually, and what makes it funny is that they actually try. To make you take this seriously. They actually go through the trouble of making this um, shit plot. Uh, everything. The script. And they, they, you know, they're trying to make you feel sorry. Feel connected to any of these characters. There's no uh, build up. The only two that were actually trying in this movie uh, was... Um, the Rock and Zac Efron. And The Rock was missing for a good... The third part of this movie, he was missing for some reason. I don't know how, how they managed to fuck that up. Um, and when he wasn't in the movie, it did show. And you were just... you were, they, they try so much to make you like this movie, but they just fall flat everywhere. This movie is R-rated. Why the fuck would you make this movie R-rated? There's absolutely no need. They made this... The only reason I can see them make this, making this R-rated is just so they can put F-words without it being needed. They show a dick in this movie. They actually show like the balls in the dick. And you're supposed to laugh at this. You're supposed to laugh at Zac Efron holding a penis up, you know, and The Rock taking pictures of him. This isn't comedy. This is just, this is desperate. It's desperation. They just, they're trying so much to throw 
that get you to be shocked at what they're doing and instead of being shocked and impressed you're just like no you can't laugh and you know i mean there's nothing else apart from repeated jokes slow-mos that actually go for like a good 30 seconds in this movie and they they keep it there the slow motions are happening you think that you're gonna laugh and if you do laugh after like 10 seconds it kind of gets old the, the rock is calling zach efron every boy band he's Right in this movie, he's calling him Justin Bieber, he's calling him uh, One Direction, uh, New Kids on the Block, and blah blah blah. And it's like, okay, you might have giggled the first time, the second time it gets boring, the third time just gets annoying. Product placement, what the fuck, man? Nobody has phones in this movie, everybody though has iPhones. This movie, I would rate it with a 2 out of 10. The only reason I give it a one point is I respect the fact that Zac Efron went through a lot of trouble for this movie to get in shape because he's probably in the best shape he's, uh, I've ever seen him in and it's a waste. Uh, so is The Rock. The Rock is humongous in this movie, you know, he, he's always a big guy but he looks, you know, at his peak in this movie. And, um, it's just a waste. It's a waste opportunity Bad with bad CGI that wasn't needed stupid dialogue flat jokes and the worst cameos with of david hasselhoff and pamela anderson which by the way they mentioned this in the beginning of the movie well you know they're mentioning who stars in the movie so if you didn't know that there was going to be a cameo they just ruined that for you anyway so that doesn't count as a spoiler so that was my take guys on this fucking fucked up stupid fucking movie baywatch 2017 stay away from it please if you like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm andres guys until next time see ya